Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jasmine Ledesma. Thank you all for coming and joining us this morning for Welcome Week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So today's quote is, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself, said by Henry Ford. Would anyone like to share what they think that means to them? Nobody? No takers? I'll jump on since uh, all the students are scared. <laughs> I think what it means is that in order for us to achieve success, we've got to work together. We can't achieve it alone, that we need each other. I like that, I like that. I have somebody in the chat said, if we are in together, then we can make something happen. Uh, I like that as well. Anybody else wanna share what they think it means? Success comes easier when we all are one accord. Well said. Anybody well, else? Said, um, you know, good morning. I'm Grandpa Joe. Um, so since it's Henry Ford and he's the automobile maker and he's talking about moving forward, you know, the automobiles move forward. So um, and they need parts to work together. So we all are parts together and, and we, we, you know, we're moving forward. So uh, if everybody doing their part, then we just going to move forward just like the automobile. <laughs> I didn't even think of it like that. Good job. That was Perfect great. Analogy. It is. <laughs> That can be also translated to either uh, we win as a as a group or we lose as an individual. You know, if we if we work as a group, we probably can a a, a, a win. But if we if we if the group go, then we can uh, lose as, an, as as individuals. You know, because uh, like a like a, a, a example before, a, we can use the Henry Ford. You know, for the cars. If the if the motor industry don't don't work together at one point, we was all gonna lose. So they gotta push together at one point and come out of it on the big Detroit thing, and then they work as a team so we can have the the, the, the motor industry that we have today. So that's why probably uh, that that comes in there. You know, either we work as a team or we lose as individuals. Uh, that's one point again. It is. That's wonderful. Um, I don't feel like I have anything different to say than what you all have said. I agree with every single last one of you. I feel like um, the success comes naturally when we're all working together as a whole, you know, to with a common goal in mind. That's that's their success in that. So, okay. So again, my name is Jasmine Ledesma. I am the president of Twenty Twenty One of Net Impact. I am a business management major and I will be done in May. <laughs> so um, I joined Net Impact because it has been very helpful. Like it, it was exciting at first and it still is very exciting. So when I first joined, um, I don't know if you can tell now, but I was very shy. I got my very first um, experience in public speaking um, it was a whole lot of things that I was like, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. And that impact has turned me into a totally different person. I did not foresee myself being able to present these Friday meetings or putting together slideshows or, you know, overseeing anything as far as an individual goes. And that impact helped me to achieve that. So I just wanted to share with you all and hopefully I get, you know, we get some more members to join the team and it's as helpful to you as it, as it was to me. So on today's for today's agenda, we are going to talk about what an impact is. Uh, you will have a chance to enter the chocolate factory. And if you enter the chocolate factory there, you have a greater chance of winning a $25 Amazon gift card. We will have an icebreaker game of scavenger hunt. You have to have your camera on in order to play the scat or in order to participate in the scavenger hunt. Um, you will get to meet the faculty advisor and the other net impact officers. There will be a game of Kahoot to see if you were listening to the entire presentation. Um, if, if you win, it's the top three in the game of Kahoot. 
then you will enter the chocolate factory. And from there, from the three people accepted into the chocolate factory, there's your $25 gift card. But you will have to be on WebEx in order to enter the chocolate factory. Um, unfortunately, for any current members, you will not be able to participate in the Kahoot game. <laughs> I apologize in advance. All right, so it's time for the game of scavenger hunt. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Yes, no? Can I get a thumbs up? You're not ready, Jimmy? <laughs> well, get ready. <laughs> Remember, you got to have your cameras on. <laughs> you got to have your cameras on, exactly. So the way scavenger hunt works is I'm going to name five items, right? And when I name it, the very first person to the screen with the item is the winner of that particular round. The person who wins the most or gets the most items of the ones that are called wins the game. Everybody got it? All righty. So the first item is gum. You don't have gum. <laughs> if you're talking, we can't hear you. I ain't saying nothing to you. I think, is it Tayman? Tay Man? Oh, she got TikToks. Yeah. Tamani, thank you. I apologize. No, you're fine. What does Ashley have? I could run and go get some gum probably for my mom. <laughs> I've been using this the whole time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins is tearing up his whole house trying to find some gum. <laughs> I got kids. We ain't got no gum. <laughs> I keep <laughs> kids. <laughs> My kids are hairy. <laughs> they act like their mother. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the next item is candy. Any kind of candy you got? Oh, yeah, I candy. Well, yeah, I got a minute. I finished my last thing of candy last night. I ain't got no. I got candy. <laughs> I finished the pocky, the sour patch. She's got it. And then Julie got candy. Oh, yes, candy. Oh, Mr. Jacobs. It's Taymon, right? Oh. Me? Taymon? Yeah, Taymon. Taymon had it first, Jasmine. Okay. 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 The next item is soda. Those from we us from up north, it's called pop. <laughs> Down here, we are pop. You. <laughs> I don't drink soda either, so I been, that would have been my out. Right yeah, there. Jimmy's got I'm soda, so I'm definitely out of there. I got soda. Want to get it? Yeah, Jimmy had it first. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Only because I gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> the only people I see not having this in their house are, you know what? I don't know. It's anything is possible. An egg. 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 An egg. Or, or crystals at work. She ain't got none of this stuff. <laughs> what was an egg? There's, there's nothing in my refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, we're not going to Jimmy's house. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mr. Jenkins. He's got the egg. Something. Hey, that counts. I got no. <laughs> there you go. How do you say your name, Sawato? Yep, that's you. <laughs> I've just been saying, Mr. Jenkins. Thank so you. I do. So well, I do. Okay. So I do had it. <laughs> okay. And the last item is any kind of bird. Any kind of bird. You got it. Bird. A bird. Yeah, chicken. Somebody got some chicken in the house. <laughs> I got a bird. Not the one on your hand. That's <laughs> what I got. I do have some. Look at Joanna. I got some chicken wings. Joanna. 
Oh, you got a bird. Oh, no, George got one. It doesn't count. Is this plant based chicken? Is, does that count? Any kind of bird you got? Any kind of bird? You guys are creative. I lost this game. This is really against me, huh? I'm surprised nobody pulled up like a picture of a bird on their phone. Like, boom. Oh, I'm going to think of that. See, somebody pulled out the chicken strips. <laughs> <It's not laughs> it's 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 house. Don't eat real chicken. I got chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bird out. I got a bird. Let's see, that works. That works. <laughs> see, but if she wouldn't have said not on your arms, I could have easily just like boom right there. Done deal. We would have been done with this round. I said any kind of bird. It's up to you. Oh, you got a little bird. I didn't know. Uh -huh. I said any kind of bird. I put that up to y'all. <laughs> I showed you my bird. I gave y'all three wings. Not on me. <laughs> I say he got chicken wings. No, what you should do? He really pulled one out too. I'm not mad at him. <laughs> All right, Professor Clemens, who won the uh, the scavenger hunt? Oh, uh, there really wasn't anybody that got, got it twice. <laughs> I, I, I know. Everybody got one. <laughs> So I'm gonna say that was the even game. Just don't call it that. <laughs> what it is. All right. I'm gonna share my screen again. All right, so let's introduce our faculty advisor, the great Professor Ted Clemens. Go ahead, you have to work. Thank you, Jasmine. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad to see some of y'all faces, some of y'all names since you're grayed out. I'm so excited that you took time this morning to be here. I know BMGT 2370 had no choice, uh, but we're excited to be here. I am Chastity Clemens. No, this is not how I normally look today. I am Veruca from Willy Wonka. Um, the, your officers chose me to be the spoiled um, girl that gets the golden ticket. Uh, I don't know where they got that from, but I have been with CTC now for going on my 11th year. I've been uh, with this organization for the past 10 years. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I was prior uh, alumni before that when we were called Students in Free Enterprise SIFE. Um, also a business professor in our business department. And I encourage you to take any of my courses. I do give extra credit for being part of Net Impact. Um, and then I lead the students. So I oversee you guys as far as the faculty advisor, mentor you, help you with all of the different campaigns, projects. Um, I like to place number one. That is my goal. So I push and I push and I want to help you succeed. That's the point of this organization is to see you take the opportunities that you're given as an impact student and be able to apply it not only academically, but in your professional uh, life. So welcome. Thank you very kindly, Professor Clemens. All right, so we're gonna watch a video on what net impact is. Please let me know and, uh, that you all can hear it when it starts. What is net impact? Net impact is a student-led organization who sees entrepreneurial opportunities to address environmental, social, and sustainable change. At CTC Net Impact, we see a problem within our community and try to address and fix them with business practices. We take our knowledge from the classroom and turn it into experiential learning to better our community and potentially the globe. I bet you think because we use business for social change, that you think Net Impact is strictly for business students. Not at all. Net Impact is for everyone, no matter what your interest is. At CTC Net Impact, we want different perspectives. We want disruptors and game changers who will come in to shake things up. Because just like the world, not everyone is the same. Because anyone can be an entrepreneur and anyone can change the world. Net Impact takes all students, no matter what degree plan you are on. We want to take those problems that you see in our communities and do something about it. 
Those very problems can be policing our roads for litter to preserve vegetation from harmful toxins being disposed along our streets. Or maybe helping active duty military, veterans, and their spouses start and operate a small business to generate a supplemental income. Or maybe it is educating our campus about financial literacy and healthcare awarenesses. Or it can be holding a racial equity panel to address issues that we face on a daily basis in a safe environment to understand each other's points of view. Net Impact is about innovative ideas created to shape what we do. It's about people getting creative to push the boundaries and work passionately on problems. It's about making a difference no matter how big or small. It's about working with your friends to make something bigger than yourself. It's about looking around and seeing what you can do better. It's about making an impact. And this is what CTC Net Impact is all about. All righty. So from that uh, video, thank you again for that, Professor Clemens, for providing that voiceover for us. <laughs> Net Impact was founded in 1993 in uh, Oakland, California. Um, it is a community of global students, um, both professional, uh, oh, not only students, but professional chapters as well. Um, it has graduate and undergraduate chapters. Um, we help turn passions into a lifetime of world changing actions. So if you had a project that you had in mind that you wanted to, and you felt like it would be impactful to the community or the world or whatever the case may be, and the impact will help you cultivate that and really get into tune with getting it off the ground and starting it. Um, we mobilize new generations and their skills. So it helps the leadership skills, uh, helps you better those, I'm sorry, enhance those, I apologize. Like I said, uh, before Net Impact, I was very shy. I still kind of battle with that a little bit, but I did not foresee me at all hosting these kind of meetings or being, being able to talk to everyone, whether it's virtual or not, I was just against it. But after joining, I'm able to do these kinds of things. Um, it has also helped me with my leadership abilities. Uh, with being a president, I have to oversee a lot of the members and a lot of the project management um, and you know making sure everything runs smoothly in the way it's supposed to. So and it helps to make a positive impact on the world. So we have, well when we weren't virtual, we had a doctor road day. We were going to clean up the sides of the road and clean. Um, we had the food drive where we would help to get charitable food, non-perishable food items to give out to those in need. You know, net impact is about to helping to improve it um, because, you know, business helps with, you know, socially and economically. So we're just trying to combine those two and just make a great impact on the world as a group. Um, we stand out because we work with, um, to reiterate, we work with students and professionals and it is for graduate and undergraduate programs. If I'm not mistaken, there is a professional chapter in Austin, am I right? Professor Clemens, there's a professional chapter in Austin. Um, so after even after you graduate, you still have a community of, you know, friends and colleagues that you can work with with that impact. Um, we focus on preparing people for, you know, finding their path to making a difference in the world. So if you feel like you want to help prevent there being homeless, uh, like downsize the homeless numbers. <laughs> We will help with that, you know, as a community, we work together and, you know, just try to cultivate and bring that out and help each other as well as the community, of course. Um, our chapter statement for CTC is net impact CTC chapter will empower students to their to use their skills and put their beliefs into action to positively make a net impact in our local community. There are over 380 undergraduate, graduate, and professional chapters and represented in over 40 countries. <laughs> um, we are partnered with several different corporations and organizations, and I think PC will be able to expound on that more. 
Absolutely. So one of the most exciting things about Net Impact is, like Jasmine said, we're not just at CTC. Um, we are all over the globe. Um, and because of that, we're sponsored by Fortune 500 and Fortune 100 companies, as well as NGOs and nonprofits. And so this is just a small snippet of some of the uh, companies. We just found out this week, we got an email from Net Impact headquarters that uh, they just picked up as a partner as McDonald's. Um, I'm super excited about it because these are opportunities for my students. Um, what that means, and we're going to go into it in a second, is jobs and internships that are solely for Net Impact students who are members. Um, and so, and I'm not talking about the cashier at McDonald's. You can go in and get that yourself. We're talking about managerial positions. We're talking about marketing positions. We're talking about environmental positions. So this is what's really exciting. But not only that, but you get the opportunity to actually network with these companies. And so I use example, Jasmine was part of the, um, and I believe Ashley was as well, last semester, we actually got to attend a boot camp and at the boot camp, and it was virtual. We got to meet the CEO of Honest Tea and Beyond Meat. Um, it was really neat because our students were able to actually speak directly to him, could have asked him questions. I mean, what and where would you get that opportunity to actually meet individuals of Fortune 500, 100 companies? Um, so that's my plug for that. Thank you very kindly again, Professor Clemens. <laughs> So what is in that impact for you? Uh, again, there are scholarships, internships, um, it's a resume enhancer. Um, with the internship, I was actually offered or not offered. Um, so yes, offered an internship position with First National Bank um, as a project manager, as an internship, a paid internship for that um, via net impact. Um, again, public speaking, that is new for me, but Again, it has helped bringing it out of me to become more comfortable with it, with it to network, as Professor Clemens said. Um, Jasmine, can I cut in real quick? Because on scholarships, one of the neat thing about scholarships is we have a scholarship here at CTC, meaning that this is particularly just for you as a net impact student. So for the past, since 1993, when this organization actually was formed on campus, uh, each team has put money into an endowment. There's over $35,000 in that endowment. And we give scholarships based off the interest, but they only go to CTC Net Impact students. Even if you're a business student, I'm sorry, congratulations to your business student, but you don't get the scholarship. This is for those that put in time and work in Net Impact. So those scholarships will be available. Um, they, I believe they end up opening up at the end of this month. So please pay attention to it. I believe it's academia work you would go to. Um, and then also Net Impact itself has scholarships. And that's not just for you to go to CTC. So if you're going to move on to a four-year university, which I can tell you UT has a net impact team. Texas State has a net impact team. Um, you can go to uh, those schools, or even if you go to a school that doesn't have a net impact team, you can qualify for these scholarships. And I also was a receiver of this scholarship as well. So I see another person, Kelvin. We joined at the same time in um, spring of 20, 2020? Yes, yeah, spring of 2020. <laughs> And we both received the scholarship, uh, the yeah, the uh, Net Impact Scholarship for CTC. Um, you get to make lifelong friends. I've made a few good friends outside of Net Impact. Um, some teachers, you know, they give you extra credit if you join and become a member. Professor Clemens being one of them. Um, also, Professor Ledger, am I correct? Professor Ledger. Um, so you also have that extra incentive as far as schools. Uh, Professor, Professor Clemens, did you want to speak on anything else? Yeah, I just want to add a few things if that's okay. Um, so just to back up on the resume enhancer, what's really neat about Net Impact is that we go on your resume. Um, and I'm going to use uh, uh, Jasmine's resume for an example. So while Jasmine's focusing on school, she's not working per se in the secular field. But that leaves a gap on her resume. So she was able to put at the top of her resume the president of Net Impact and list all the different jobs and duties and skills that she has gained and that she is doing on her resume. Um, so think about that Net Impact could be that resume filler as well. Um, and then jobs, there are jobs on the Net Impact website that only Net Impact students have access to, not just locally. Now, locally, because of our being very predominant and having a reputation of the type of students we produce. We have lots of companies that reach out to us for internships and jobs, but Net Impact Headquarters actually has these Fortune 500, 100 companies that have particular jobs that they only offer to Net Impact students because they're looking for a particular type of student. 
Um, and like Jasmine said, that public speaking, and I can I can definitely want to kind of co collaborate her story because when she first came in my classroom, um, she barely wanted to answer some of the questions. She would get all shy if I called on her. Um, but I knew that she had the potential to be what she is today. Um, and so in public speaking, we will put you in different forums like this at the virtual. Um, I, I have a couple of different Net Impact members that are on today. They can probably shake their heads and tell you that um, they'll be placed in areas where they have to do interviews with mayors or they have to, uh, you know, figure it out. And here's the thing. If you want to join because you want to make your mistakes here. Um, you want to learn here. And then project management, just like Jasmine said, how do you think she got the internship? Which I'm like trying to maintain myself because I didn't know she actually got it, got it. Um, but project management, I'm going to tell you whether you're going to go in business or you're going to be a nurse, you're going to have to learn project management. All companies want their employees to be able to enhance their company by picking up a project and taking it to fruition. So why not learn how to do that here? And then networking. Networking, I think, is one of the biggest things about this organization. Not only networking with your peers here at CTC, but ne networking with our community. Like, for instance, Jasmine got to meet the mayors of all the cities. Uh, and this is still virtual. Imagine what we do more in person. Um, but not only that, but we get to, um, when we eventually get to get back into the norm, uh, we get to actually face to face with these CEOs. And not only that, but other Net Impact students across the globe, um, at the boot camp, you'll be put in sub uh, category rooms. And in these rooms, you get to mingle. So I joined the boot camp and I met a student in France. And her and I began this talk, and we ended up exchanging information because she was getting her grad degree. I'm now using her as a network um, in my network and have added her. And I'm not even a student. Um, graduation honors. I know you saw the picture in the video. So I love bling. When I tell you I love bling, I love bling. I like to stand out. When I walk into a room, everybody in that room is going to know who I am. And they're going to know I'm the professor from CTC and a net impact coordinator. But I want everybody to know the net impact work that you did. So you guys receive stoles that have big blue uh, words that say net impact and then also a big medallion to represent the hard work that you did and plus to be proud of. Um, and we do have awards and accolades, meaning that we do presidential awards every year. On top of that, we we have interview, which I know Jasmine um, probably will tell you a little bit more about, but interview is a program only for Net Impact students that Net Impact pays for that allows you to put not just your volunteer hours from Net Impact, but your volunteer hours from anything that you do to achieve awards. So here's my plug. Cesar Seda, he just got the Merit Award. Um, so I want to kind of put a shout out to him. Congratulations. <laughs> um, and then lifelong friendships, like Jasmine said, let me tell you, I was a president myself years and years and years ago. I am still good friends with my VP, and then we call him our wingman, who happens to be a property manager here in the Colleen area who owns over 100 different properties. Um, and so these are people in my network now because they used to be my peers. So you get the same opportunity. I'm going to turn it back to you, Jasmine, because I get excited about Net Impact. I know you could probably see I'm very passionate about the organization because I'm going to tell you right now, I would not be sitting in front of you today as Professor Chastity Clemens without this organization. It opened the doors for me. Thank you so much for that. I don't think I could have put it as well as you did. So thank you. <laughs> All right. So we have a few projects up to us being one of them. Um, up to us is a student-wide, I'm sorry, nationwide organization of student leaders, um, we, and they are trying to raise awareness for the fiscal policy of, you know, and, you know, our national debt. Just trying to make the millennials aware. Well, everybody aware, really. Um, that, with up to us, I got a chance to um, meet all of the, I'm sorry, mayors of Copper's Cove, Harker Heights, and Colleen. Um, I actually got to interview Mayor Jose Segarra uh, for one of our e Up To Us events. So Up To Us is another great project via Net Impact again. <laughs> and that'll be another project for uh, this semester that we have going on. Um, we also have other virtual projects. There is Zooniverse, the Crisis Hotline, and Higher Heroes USA. Whenever you join, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know why they did that. But um, whenever you join and you um, sign up for an interview, there will be other virtual projects. And then when you first join, you'll get a list of other um, virtual projects as well uh, that you can be a part of. Another thing we have coming up is the Royal Impact. Um, it is to give back to our homeless community. 
So there are about 409 homeless people in the Bell County, Coryell County um, area, and 200 of those people are in Colleen alone. Um, and that was in September of 2020. I mean, we, the goal is to put together some travel hygiene kits. Um, we have a member here that um, started well, we'll get more into that in a second. But, you know, he he came up with this idea. He's a member. This is his project. He's a project manager of uh, George is the project manager of this one. Um, George, are you on? Can you you got a second to give more on this one? Yes, I'm here. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. <clears throat> How you doing, everyone? Good morning. Uh, my name is George Torado. Uh, before I get into the role of impact, I just want to say a few things in regards to how net impact has affected me. Um, so this is my second semester at CTC and also uh, net impact as well. Uh, I joined net impact initially to network and broaden my involvement in other activities, um, especially with everything going on and everyone staying home more so <clears throat> than before. Uh, I just wanted to keep myself as occupied and involved as I could. Um, and just within my first semester uh, with Net Impact, uh, I participated in an event that was introduced to me through Net Impact. It was called the Be Your Own Boss event. And after attending that event and having the support system that I had from Net Impact, I gained the confidence to go out and start my own business. So within less than a year, I learned and built the confidence to go out and pursue starting my own business because of net impact. If I didn't have net impact or those resources, I don't think I would have had that confidence or the knowledge that I have now to go out and pursue that. Um, also, it's a great experience. It's a great opportunity to network, and it's a great feeling knowing that you have others to support your ideas and aspirations, and that you can contact them at any time, um, and they'll be there to help. Like there's there's a couple of things and instances where I wish I would have reached out. So, for instance, I built a I was building a vanity. And I was having pro a little bit of problems with electrical work and somebody from the impact had experience with electrical work. And if I would have just reached out, then I would have known that. So there's a lot of things that you, you might not know about others that are in the impact and how they can help you and you can help each other. So it's a great opportunity and a great experience. Um, <clears throat> so going on to this event royal impact so through net impact you can present ideas uh whether it be um community related or uh some type of mission <clears throat> that you have so for me i like helping others and so after serving in the military and having the opportunity to help others overseas, I try to now figure out how I can help others in the US. So an idea that came to me was helping the homeless or those in need. And another um, thought behind it was helping out troubled youth. So this Royal Impact event is going to be a charity event through my company, which is Royal Home, and I make custom furniture and custom woodworking pro projects and do renovations and things like that. But that's kind of besides the point. It's it's more so the the mission here. So through with my company, I'm going to be making small little boxes, and we're going to be taking in like toiletry items and non-perishable food items, filling those boxes with those items, and going to donate them to the homeless shelters and also the Covenant House in Texas. Um, that is in Houston, I believe. And uh, it's really just about impacting others. So a lot of people go through tough times within their lives and 
they might think they're at rock bottom. But the way to think about it is there's always others that might be in a worse situation or a worse predicament. And knowing that I, or knowing, because of knowing that, I want to at least put a smile on somebody's face. That's just my goal. If I could see one smile, then I know I've done right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we're kind of still working out the administrative stuff and more of the details in regards to this event, but that's that's Royal Impact in, in a nutshell. So thank you guys. Not done, George. This is you too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about this. <laughs> I've been so busy, I forgot about this. So yes, another one, furniture auction. So um, we're, we're going to be implementing, uh, actually prior to the uh, Royal Impact event, and this one's in February, a furniture auction. So, and then we're gonna have it periodically as well. So the plan behind this is building a furniture item and then doing a silent auction and auctioning off the item. And the funds received from that will be going towards uh, helping uh, net impact. And that is going to be in February. And then we're going to take a little bit of a break with, between that uh, or from the furniture auctions to do the Royal Impact event. And then we're going to be re implementing the furniture auction projects. So that's really Thank about it. So much, George. I appreciate that. <laughs> No problem. Thank you. All right. uh, another fundraiser that we have, or we will, we will have, I'm sorry, is the Double Good Popcorn. It is a gourmet popcorn with over 13 flavors and an option to create your own. Um, it's open for four days at a time, so you will definitely be known and uh, we'll let you know in advance whenever we start one, because you'll only have four days to, you know, purchase it to help out our fundraiser. Um, the funds are allocated for future projects and scholarships. So that same scholarship that I and I think it was Kelvin received uh, from CTC, that is exactly what, you know, the funds from this goes to, as well as, you know, helping for like Georgia's project. So if we say we needed to go to anywhere to purchase certain items, we will be able to use the funds from these fundraisers that we are having to go toward any projects that we have in the future. Um, we are looking to start this in March of this year, so please be on the lookout for that. And real quick, Jasmine, I'm going to jump in. I want to share a story that goes with fundraising real quick. Um, so we, before COVID, pre-COVID is what I call it, uh, we actually had a candy business. We sold um, chocolate. We had it for almost 25 years. And so uh, the money from the chocolate, like she said, would go to projects. But here's the thing. You think, okay, big deal, it's a fundraiser. But if you take on one of our fundraisers, you're literally getting experience that companies want. And so I wanna give you a, a story of AJ. Um, AJ is one of our alumni. Uh, he was with us, he was actually the uh, vice president of development, meaning he oversaw our fundraisers. And so he would do all of the chocolate, make sure the locations that we had it in, he would place the chocolate. Um, it was a self-sustained chocolate, meaning that the case uh, would, or the box would stay on a cab uh, cabinet at school or at a small business. And individuals would take a candy bar, put the money inside the box. Okay. He would have to go each week and do inventory. He'd have to make sure we had enough supply. He'd have to maintain the ex expiration dates. He'd have to collect the money. He'd have to keep spreadsheets. Because of that, because of one of our partners, which is Mondelez, who Mondelez is the international brand of craft. If you didn't know who they are, they're housed out of uh, Houston. We are partner with them. And so he was, um, they were looking for a part-time employee to do the same exact thing with Walmart and HEB. So I connected him with them and now he is a senior sales. He drives a 2020 Malibu they, they gave him for a company car. Um, and then my two years ago president came to me and said she needed a job after graduation. And she also did fundraisers. And now she works for Mondelez. So these are how opportunities are born. It's not just because you become a member. It's what you do when you become a member. And Jasmine made a good point yesterday in our officer meeting. It's not always, you know, it's always what you put in is what you're going to get out of this organization. I'm sorry, I forgot I was muted. 
<laughs> but yes, it that is exactly what net impact is. Whatever you put into it is what you'll get out of it. So, and those are great examples, by the way. Thank you, Professor Clemens. You know, that is actually the first level or the first rule of karma is what you put into the universe will come back at you. Thank you for sharing that. You said karma? Like what goes around comes around type thing? <laughs> I didn't know like there was like rules of karma. I'm pardon my ignorance. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, not like the rule, but it's like the 12 laws of karma. It's just like, I never knew that either. I thought it was literally just one. what goes around comes around. Thank you. All right, so we have Ashley Miller, who is our Vice President of Marketing and also a Business Management major. All right, hold on. I don't know if y'all can see me. Can y'all see me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, good morning, guys. How are y'all doing? Hoping all is well. So my name, thank you, Aliciana. Long time no see, girl. <laughs> my name is Ashley Miller. I am the VP of Social Media Marketing here at Net Impact. Um, I'm gonna just hop like right in and tell y'all what Net Impact has done for me. Um, prior, Jasmine, shout out to you. You know this movie story every time. Like <laughs> we get told up to this story. So <laughs> like I had I didn't prior to even hopping into Net Impact, I didn't know what this organization was. I was very unfamiliar and then Jasmine had reached out in a class and had messaged and was just um, recruiting. I was like, okay, interesting. I don't necessarily know what this is, but she did reach out and she's pretty pleasant. So why not? So I, what was it? The first meeting I went to, I think it was you and Professor Clements and I saw y'all's dynamic and I was like, oh, I would love to be a part of something like this. So fast forward, guys, I'm a team member at this point, and the opportunity comes up to become an officer now. I had no intentions, y'all. I promise y'all. I did not. I wanted to do it, like, deep down inside, but I was kind of, like, on the fence, like, is this something I really want to do? A few months ago, I didn't know about this organization. Do I really just want to step into it and take this position? So with the confidence of Jasmine, her not even realizing how much power her words had, I was like, all right, I'm gonna just do it. Like, what's the worst that can happen to me? Little did I know, I not only was going to learn how to become a better version of myself, but I created a bond with other individuals that are positive and goal-oriented like myself. And to have that, is something very very special and something else i wanted to touch on before i move forward y'all being a part of net impact has helped me learn how to communicate effectively and positively moving forward and i've been able to use that skill set in my personal and professional lives moving forward and i want to take the time to thank y'all because being my peers and team members i learn a lot from you guys all the time so that being said, y'all, there's my little spill on that impact. But so also something I want to touch on, y'all, our social media. Net impact for CTC. We have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Vimeo, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Yeah. Okay, because that was straight off the dome. Oh, and indeed, there we go. And indeed. Okay, you can go to the next slide for me, Jackson. Okay. So what I want y'all to do, just for a fun incentive, I would like for you guys to go follow all our social media pages. So y'all have a deadline to do this by, and we will be hosting a giveaway. It's a surprise gift, so don't worry about it. Just know if you do all of this, I will be looking and paying attention, and we will be picking out a winner. Oh, I can't even talk. A winner. Um, the deadline to like social media pages will be by Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if you guys, if y'all can in the chat, the new members, um, no, I can see it. I can just pull it up. I'll message you guys as well. And um, I'll be looking for that. And I think that's all. I want to say that's all I had to say. Yeah, the it, the winner be you said that the winner will be announced on all the social media. Uh, I will be, so the deadline for them to follow everything will be Sunday by 
by six, and then 24 hours after the deadline, I will be announcing the winner. There we go. I knew I was thinking something. <laughs> Thank you, Cash. I was like, wait, it's <laughs> And we'll be able to tell if you don't really follow, because if you don't follow, you won't know if you won or not. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna go to the previous slide so y'all can see all the um, all of our platforms and the names. If everybody want to take a screenshot real quick. Or While you guys are doing that, I just want to jump in. Ashley also, not only does she oversee our social media, but she also works with all of our project managers and um, helping them with their marketing campaigns, um, making sure that we get all of our projects in not only in the community, but virtually out there. So I want to make sure that I give her credit due because she has been a great asset to our team and brought a lot of knowledge and uh, artistic abilities that we didn't have prior. And so like she said earlier, each of you have a, a skill set. Each of you brings something to the table that we need. Um, not all of us can fill all the needs of this team. So uh, we hope that you get to join. Um, and actually, you are a delight to have. Thank you. Gang, gang. I got, I got something to say, Ashley, to remind you. Yes, sir. I got something to remind you. Remember that we're going to be doing the, the this follow on because yes. I'm going to be doing the first one uh, today. I'm going to be recording the first one today, like you asked me to. And uh, so yeah. we can start putting it every Monday, Motivation Monday. And the topic today, I got it from the meeting. So it's going to be either we win as a, as a team or we or we if the or we lose as an, as individuals. So I'm gonna work on that video today and to have it ready for Monday. So that's another motivation to go and and, and see uh, the motivation video also in our platforms. Yes, it's our virtual high five. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate you. All right, so now we're gonna give it over to our Vice President of Human Resources, Mr. Antoine Lewis, who is also who is a business administration manager. Go ahead, Mr. Antoine. Uh good afternoon or good morning, everybody. I am uh Grandpa Joe today and also Antoine on regular days. Um so what I'm going first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. I'm a business ma uh business administration major. And uh, the reason why I took the time to uh, join uh, Net Impact is because PC, if y'all notice how loud and boisterous she is, she showed up in my business principal class one morning and uh, she gave this phenomenal uh, presentation and I needed to, and since I'm in business, I wanted to make sure that I can uh, use all the resources available to me because I'm a prior military. So I believe in uh, just good impartations for my mind and my, my, my space. So I know I need uh, help with uh, procrastination and organization. So that's why I chose to run for the, the VP of Human Resources because uh, I just recently cleaned my desk. I ain't really perfect, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm just getting organized. I'm trying to use my grandpa voice too. But uh, so I'm still working on some things, but I have been uh, developing better skills in my professionalism because I know that uh, the Human Resources Department of many businesses are, are, are key to keeping the organization running with all the paperwork and keeping things organized. So, um, with, with, that, with that being said, uh, to stay in, uh, to become a member of Net Impact, uh, you have to be a CTC student uh, and uh, a minimum of one project hour a week. And all you need is a C average, but we don't produce C averages in Net Impact because we have enough people here to uh, help encourage you to make a better grade. And uh, you got to keep maintain the uh, student conduct and our policies and procedures. and my department, we make sure that uh, everybody abides by the rules. Um, and that's what probably every other uh, human resources uh, management department that you will come across in any business. Um, and this is how you can join because everybody's been asking in the chat. The next slide. Um, the Survey Monkey. You, you can fill out the application on Survey Monkey using this link. Jasmine is now placing it in the chat. You can also email me directly at hr.nictc at gmail.com. And I will respond to that because I now, with my old self, got that hooked up to my smartphone and uh, I can check it, you know. And uh, yeah, y'all got a part of me, you know, us old people, we got to go use the restroom quite frequently. So I'm getting a little flustered here. Uh, and my phone number is um, on here is 254-245-7584. If you want to text me 
immediately and I will give you a response to let, with your name and I'll give you a response even quicker. Um, I did that as a courtesy to make sure that we have every available resource since we don't get to meet in person. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, that's all I have. And uh, I welcome you all to the team, those of you who are going to join. Again, I am Antoine. Thank you so much, Grandpa Joe. That was wonderful. <laughs> All right, it's time for a game of Kahoot. The top three winners get a golden ticket to enter the chocolate factory. Hopefully, everybody was paying attention to everything that was said. Let me go over to my other screen here, make sure it's ready. Remember, if you're a current Net Impact member, you cannot play. This is only for potential members. All right. Can everybody see? <laughs> if you have not played Cahoots before, go to the www.cahoot.it and you will put the game pin in. Um, you can do it on your phone or you can do it on your laptop or our tablet. I'm going to give it a few minutes for everybody to join. I'm sorry, y'all, the chat. <laughs> we only got four players. Nobody else is wanting to play. Let me see who all is in here. Let me look at the participants. Oh, BMGT, you can join. BMGT 23-7, because you just became a member for class. You can join. You're new. Uh-oh, somebody leave. I'm gonna give it two more minutes, see if anybody else joins. <laughs> okay, I, I see you, Catherine. I'm gonna wait. When the music is playing and I'm playing cahoots, when we used to play it in class for extra credit points, it used to make my little heart beat up out of control. It used to get me so anxious. <laughs> I knew I forgot something. Oh yeah, while um we were over the Christmas break, I completed my first book and I was encouraged by a few Net Impact members to start and do that. So, and I'll be working on my second one. I'll probably start at spring break because of school, but I got to go through the editing and all that process. So I use that time wisely. It just came back to my my old memory. <laughs> Congratulations. I can't wait to read. You know, I love to read. I will read all day. Really? Night. If I didn't have any, if the last, if I could read all day without having to do anything else, that is exactly what I would do. I love to read. Your profession, okay. Thank you. I can't tell you how many books I've read over the winter break. I think I've read close to close to 20 something books and that's like not a lot <laughs> if I could show you my bank account damage I did on Amazon between Audible and buying books like who let me have my debit card for real like why is this a <laughs> <laughs> alright I'm going to go ahead and start the game everybody ready let me mute my mic <sighs> All 
All right, first is true or false. Net Impact was founded in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California in 1996. Is that true or false? Got it right. Everybody was paying attention. Y'all are right. It was founded in Oakland, California in 1993. All right. Who first? Cat first, JoJo second, Crystal third. All right. All right. What is the minimum requirement to maintain membership in that impact? One hour a week in service hours, CTC student, or maintain a 2.0 of or maintain a minimum of 2.0 or all of the above. Ooh, so mostly everybody got there, right? I mean, be a CTC student is one of the correct answers. So technically you didn't answer it wrong, but there was a better choice. Just gonna put it like that. Oh, Jim came up out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, how can you join Net Impact? Ask to join, fill out and submit a member application. Tell Professor Clemens when you can start or let the VP of HR know when you can start. Everybody's paying attention. I'm proud. I feel like everybody was right. All right, so JoJo came back up and got in first place again. Let's see. Is there a limit on the weekly hour requirement? No, there is not a limit on how many hours you can do. Yes, the cap is 40 hours per week. Yes, the cap is at 20 hours per week, or maybe it depends on the person. That was a trick question. So I understand how some of y'all got that one wrong, but no, there is not a limit on how many hours you can do. You can do as many as you want. There is a bare minimum of one hour per week, but other than that, you can do as many hours as you see fit to put into that impact. That's all on you. What is the main purpose of human resources? To hire and fire members or to recruit and maintain members of net impact? Everybody answer? Skip that then. Everybody got it right. Ooh, Jenny on fire. <laughs> Not Antoine I'm trying to throw it anyway. The purpose of interview is to help interviewing skills. True or false? I, when did we mention interviewing skills? Did I say anything about interviewing skills? An interview? I am at a loss for words. I apologize, y'all. I'm sorry. I didn't hear anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are so funny, <laughs> <bad. laughs> <laughs> interview. So nobody heard me say interview skills. But y'all did hear interview, but not interviewing skills. See, y'all got to pay attention. <laughs> but y'all everything else, so I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. It's okay. We all got our moments. Now, JoJo on fire. All right, another true or false net impact helps with project management, enhancing your resume and internships. True or false? Thank you. 
Wait, somebody said they was multi listening. I've never heard that. <laughs> Shoot, they probably got TV, radio, music, everything on. <laughs> I need to learn how to do that multi listening. Everybody, all right. Congratulations, everybody. JoJo still the one on fire with Jim coming in second. Tiny violin. <laughs> Professor Clemens is the chapter CEO, president, head honcho, or faculty advisor. So everybody should already know this. <laughs> Somebody's in the chat is a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm the president, you all. My name is Jasmine Ledesma. I'm the president of Net Impact for the year 2021. <laughs> Professor Clemens is the faculty advisor. <laughs> you said it three times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so JoJo is still on fire with Jim and Tiny Violin in the same places, second and third. All right, true or false? Any member of Net Impact can be a project manager. Any member on the team can be a project manager. You don't have to be um, the president or an officer. You can start up and head your own project. <laughs> All right, same or JoJo still on fire. Let's go JoJo. Let's go. Net Impact CTC is only one of 10 chapters. True or false? All right, look like everybody else is trying to speak the time. Okay, so Net Impact has over 380 chapters of, of professional, graduate, and undergraduate in over 40 countries. <laughs> so either way, like, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it's not one to ten. It's it's, it's a lot of us. <laughs> All right, so let's see who won. Third place, we got Tiny Violin. Congratulations, Tiny Violin. Second place, we got Jim. Congratulations. First place, JoJo. And she was on fire. Please, JoJo, no, no, I apologize. I got your phone as well. Congratulations, everybody. And then you will be going uh, to the breakout room. I'm sorry, yes, to the chocolate factory. The top three winners. Who is Tiny Violin? Yeah, who is Tiny Violin? That was me. <laughs> He's like, that was me. <laughs> His last name is Booker. Who? Booker. His last name is Booker, or is Booker? Eliciana. Which one is JoJo? <laughs> I'm going to assume JoJo is Joanna. Okay. <laughs> Joanna and Jim. That. 